Great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Memphis Tigers and the Houston Cougars. Number three is a star whose team hopes he can take them to victory tonight. It's hard to pinpoint just a single thing. He does everything well at offense. He's an offensive machine. Yes, if there is one thing, though, that stands out, it's the way he can shoot the trifecta. All he needs, a little daylight, and it's automatic, baby. The Cougars will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Cougars should be in for an uphill battle tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? Well, the keys are very simple, my friend. First, I look for the point guard to be in control of the team out there. He's got to be the leader. He's got to be the boss. He's got to be in command. Secondly, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. And finally, make your team think defense first. Solid defense will lead to good offense. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He beats him to the punch defensively and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Got a wide open look. Down inside. Here's a double team. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Coming. Receives the ball. Jumps in. Coming. Makes the finger roll. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. They go into the low block. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? There's the trap. Way out on. He rejects it. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Now trying to feed the low block. And he'll kick it back outside. He up fakes. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Stolen away for two. Scorches the net. Coming. Handles the pass. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Pushing up basketball. That's exactly what they expect from him. That young man is doing some great things for this program, Dick. Hey, Brad, he's what I call a PTP, -er, a primetime player. When the spotlight is on, he usually performs. Trying to feed the low block. Look at that spacing. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Basket falls despite the contact. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great play to take that to the basket.
Marshall is feeling good. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. He nails the shot. Well, well. Booker receives the pass. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He makes a nice shot fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Stinson comes up with it. They'll work it around the arc. Tries one from three-point land. Goes in. <laughs> Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. On the dribble, gives it up. From three-point land. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it there. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Coming. Handles the feed. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And up. Perfectly executed. Coming. Four, two. Controlling the ball. For the bucket. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Here they go into the break. It's stolen. Manly, it's mediocre play has really gotten to him. Things aren't coming easy for him right now. He's in a rut. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they need the layups. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from the baseline. The Tigers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Moving it around the perimeter. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. There's a double team waiting there. He goes with a baby hook. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. The skip pass is picked off. Dump it inside. Outside jumper. Off the rim and no good. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. There they come with a double team to stop it. Takes it off him. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Looking for the foul. Let's get a replay, baby. In 
in the paint. Stanley pump fakes. Tries for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. He looks for three. Houston is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There's a slam. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Kick it back outside. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. Thanks, Aaron. post flashes he bombs from outside he makes the shot pull up jumper from way out nice shot this whole team that's on the floor is quick but so is the defense and they do a nice job Great play to take that to the basket. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. For a good shot. Defense giving no room. Looking to move it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. Steal. And a momentary look from three point land. Dick about a medium sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing you don't get a big edge as a home team. up for two. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. And he'll kick it back outside. He throws it up from downtown. The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. That he's on fire. down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow they work it back to the outside the kick out double team now bad angle he shoots from the top of the circle he nails it from downtown Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Got the high pick from left of the circle. Marshall from downtown. 
Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Leans in. That was nice. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Postel steps to the line for the first time. First one, good. Second shot, good. it up for the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He takes a three. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Tries for two. I love this guy hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Runs in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. And I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Goes up for two. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. They work the perimeter. 
for two. Up and in. Gave it up. Jump hook from the low block. Ate, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. On the outside, takes the shot. He buries the shot. Entry pass in the paint. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Three. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They get it out into transition. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Puts it up looking for contact. Coming. Up and inside. Done. Basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when he needed him, baby. At the free throw line. Opportunity. Makes it. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Picks off the pass. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Takes the pass in the paint. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the inside. Here's a double team. He shoots from the top of the key. He hits the shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. High post screen, gonna use it. For the bucket, perfectly executed. And the ball goes out of bounds. Tries for two, can't get the shot to go. At the end of the first half, the Cougars are down by eight. This one's too close to call here at the end of the first, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half? The threes were the key for me, Brad. In my books, this shot sparked morale more than anything. When you're hitting threes, everything else comes a lot easier. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. Houston is not having the best of days on the boards in the first half. Hey, subpar rebound and performance by this squad so far. Seems like everybody's waiting for someone else to grab the rock. Dick started the second half. We take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. way outside gets it to go they've got to figure out a way to slow him down I'd start to get physical with him and I'd see what happens takes the pass in the paint up fake 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Shoots. That's good. They move it into the front court. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. Robs him of the ball. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up on the inside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Shots off the mark. And he scores despite the half. Intercepted. And the fans here are loving the action. The man is off the charts, Brad. They'll work it around the arc. Let's it fly. Houston are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Picked off. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Stinson picks up the foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. It's the third. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Jumps into the defender, drops the bucket despite the harm. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Got some room. There's a double team waiting there. Pushes it up. Picks off the lazy pass. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. And they come with a double team to stop it. Fakes the shot. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. For two, can't get the shot to drop. He gets it to go. On the dribble, gives it up. And a slam. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Houston are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. 
The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. He's doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love him. Entry pass in the paint. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A uh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. For the bucket, and in and out. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move to the goal. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. <laughs> Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from right of the circle, way off target. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, defense? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Off the rim and no good. The lay in. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three point line. Looking for contact. Up. Easy one. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Puts it on the floor and up and under. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hogged the microphone. <laughs> hey, sure he is. I can hear snorting from the air. <laughs> Trying to draw the foul. Looking for a good shot. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The student body looks to be full with rage and terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. He buried that one from way deep. On the dribble, gives it up. Look at that spacing. There's the trap. Accepts it. There was no doubt about that one. He launched.
launches a three. He drains the shot. On the outside, picked off. Easy two coming here. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Applying lots of pressure, Brad, and looking for the steal as well. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Up and inside. He shoots from the top of the circle. He swishes it from downtown. away the pass trying to draw some contact and he scores it off the glass goes up for two great play to take that to the basket Gave it up for two. Perfectly executed. Double team now, bad angle. Picked out of the air. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. The Rutgers fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. And a momentary look from three-point land. The small forward with the ball. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Moving it around the perimeter. From right of the circle, way off target. He puts it in with contact and all. On the dribble, gives it up. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. On the outside, the offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely, getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. Like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. With a quarterback pass. For the bucket. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Strips the ball. They're off into transition. Postel picks. Basket's good, plus one. He showed how a senior is supposed to play in big games, baby. He's been making some great plays, but taunting? This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. You've got that right, Brad. With the free one. He got it. That's nine unanswered. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Basket falls despite the contact. Tempo 
loaded game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. We'll show you another angle from the booth. They're working around the perimeter. Goes up for two, and he misses the shot. With the layup. With plays like that, you need instant replay. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. It's crazy in here, Brad. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. They work the perimeter. The point guard gets and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Just their excitement with that jam. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. Get the it drops. He came up with a layup after he was fouled in the air. He deserves a standing O for that one. That was beautiful. <laughs> He'll visit the charity strike. Gets it. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. The Cougars have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Rims out. For the bucket. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Brad, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop on this possession. And now they'll bring it up. He takes it away. Dick, this crowd will go silly if they can get some points this trip. He unloads. <laughs> hey, Brad, a stop here will definitely raise the decibel level. Dump it inside. Picks off the lazy pass. The shooting guard gets the ball. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. To the charity strike. Misses the first shot. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Stolen for two. The Tigers have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Picks off the pass. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. And his shot block. Oh, what a great job transition. 
offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back, don't stop the ball. And they were allowed to convert, get the number game going. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Dumps it in. Stolen ball. They push it up on the break. For the bucket. The lane. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing, they're getting good shots and they're making them gap. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. He shoots. Scorches the net. The replay reveals the deal, baby. The lead is down to a bucket. Hey, this place is about to explode. It's dynamite, baby. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us, EA? Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Aaron's right about that, Dick. And let's go back out onto the floor. It's a two-point game. The fans are going to make it even tougher, Brad. You didn't expect him to quiet down, did you, Dick? On the outside. Launches the bomb. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. back into action here. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Intercepted. Timeouts called on the floor. This is where the true players come to play. It's crunch time, baby. we go that bucket cuts the lead to one I told you there was a lot of time Brad ball comes back out from the post I tell you Brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man well it's time to start fouling they gotta stop the clock Dick. it looks like they're gonna slow the game down by fouling Brad Another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Gets the second shot. 
They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. They work it around the perimeter. Let's it fly. That's good. I wouldn't mind seeing him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Gave it up. The power forward takes the pass. He attempts the trifecta. Not there. We are OT bound. And it's not going to get any easier, baby. The heat's going to keep rising. Add extra time to the clock. At the end of regulation, these teams are all even. As we begin overtime, Brad, I knew this was going to be a barn burner. On the outside, takes the three-pointer. They're on fire deck from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. And we got a whistle and a foul. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Hits the second shot. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. The pressure's getting to him, Brad. And he'll kick it back outside. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. There's a high screen. He makes the shot. They work it around the arc. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He drains the shot. They're doing a nice job of getting back on D. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Tries for two. And off the mark. Up and inside. The shooting guard takes the feed. There's a double team waiting there. You gotta let the offense play into the double. Yeah, they may be forcing the double a little bit. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. He got up the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass tries to turn and the defense comes up with a play what a terrific play to stop that spin move How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and they're active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Here's the trap. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. 
This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. Little Barish to go up in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. There they come with a double team to stop it. And they get the turnover. Timeout, they want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Aaron's right about that. Might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. Puts it on the floor and up and under. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. to the action here after the timeout. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call with a rejection. On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Let's get back out on the floor. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two, and he scores despite the hack. Decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It? it wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Double team now, bad angle. No foul was called on the play, and that is really important right now, Dick. Absolutely. At this point in the game, when you still have a chance to win, you got to make sure when you gamble, it pays off. He goes to the line. Have to make the free throw. Timeout's called on the floor. This is where the true players come to play. It's crunch time, baby. Back to the action now in the half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. Great defense. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Up 
I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. First shot is no good. Just like in practice. It's a T.O., baby. Hey, it's nail-biting time. Where's my PTP? -er? Who's going to step up and make the big shot? Needed breather with that timeout. From way outside, he drains the bucket. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. He had to hurry that one. He misses from the outside. Houston took it to OT but couldn't get the win. You know, they really showed what they were made of and can't come away from this game with a moral victory. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.